G'day, it's George Truman and welcome to What the Wednesday. Today I'm here with Rob Duncan near Yarry Lake, having a look at the water spreading banks. These have been in for some time and it was great to catch up and see what improvements have been made, especially with the recent rain. So these banks are designed to slow the water as it moves across the landscape. By slowing the water, we're improving the infiltration, pasture density and composition. This leads to better grazing management and also the better recovery of these pastures, um, particularly after the longer dry spells. Rob, do you want to just uh, tell us a bit about the banks? Because you've had them in for some years now and uh, you're getting to see the, the value from across the property. What are, you, um, what are you sort of seeing and how is it helping with your farming and grazing enterprise? Well, a, a lot of it's, um, we're getting better species of, um, of grasses, um, you know, a better composition of species, I suppose you'd call it, um, and better ground cover. Um, yeah, by slowing the water down and letting it infiltrate on, on this harder, you know, slopier country, um, you, it's, you know, it's, it's giving us a, a longer window of, um, of better feed, you'd say. By, yeah, by, by just slowing the water, not, not stopping the water, we don't stagnate it, we just slow the water down and, and stop the um, sediment going down the hillside. Um, we still let the water go, it still goes down the bottom and runs out in the same place that it always did. But um, slowing it down, letting it infiltrate and then the ground cover's, um, yeah, the ground cover's improving here. The banks are surveyed along the contour by Ray Thompson. The banks are constructed with a V-channel on the lower side. The water then flows across the landscape, comes in contact with the bank and flows along to a small opening. It then enters the channel. This is the critical level. The V-channel fills up to the lip and then it overflows and the water just moves slowly down through the pasture to the next bank and in doing that it's allowed to infiltrate, be utilised by the pastures and is then not lost in one big downpour from the paddock. So that provides a little bit of an update on Rob Duncan's project. We'll be following these particularly as the seasons improve and uh, we get more cover these have been funded by Catchman Action New South Wales and Local Land Services. So that's it for now. So join us next Wednesday for another edition of What the Wednesday. Have a good week.